السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ عبد الرحمٰن بن عیسا رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ ہی ریویلڈ دیٹ ہولی پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم سیڈ اے پرسن ہو ریسائٹ درود و سلام اپان می ففٹی ٹائمز ایوری ڈے سو دیٹ پرسن وین کم ایٹ دا ڈے آف ججمنٹ I will shake hand with them. So these person will get the status that Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wa sallam he will shake hand with them. So alhamdulillah. So 50 times if we recite Durood al-Salaam to Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam at the day of judgment will shake hand mashallah. with us in one other revelation uh ans bin malik radiyallahu ta'ala no he revealed that holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam said a person who recite durood salam upon me 1000 time every day so that person will not die until unless will have to see his house in paradise ماشاء اللہ سو ریسائٹنگ درود و سلام اپان ہولی پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ون تھاؤزینڈ ٹائمز دیر از پاسبلٹی ٹو لک یور اون ہاؤس ان پیراڈائز ان دس ورلڈ دین یو ول ڈائی ماشاء اللہ سو دیٹ از دا بلیسنگز آف اللہ درود و سلام ہیز سو مینی بلیسنگز ٹوڈے وی آر لرننگ درود تاج درود تاج تاج مین دا کراؤن سو دس درود از کالڈ دا کراؤن آف درود سو دس از وٹ درود و سلام وی ریسائٹ آن ہولی پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دس از دا کراؤن آف آل درود درود و سلام ماشاء اللہ ویری امپورٹنٹ اینڈ وی ہیو ٹو ریسائٹ دس ون آلسو دس ہیز سو مینی بلیسنگز ان اٹ so one day what happened my small daughter when she was uh, about uh, five years old she was in hospital in london and uh, she was so much ill and the and the doctors uh, they said uh, that uh, it is uh, not possible for her uh, until tomorrow um, so hopefully we are hope hopeless so they they said this so what happened i i said my wife go back home and at night i spent my night with my daughter in hospital so with her i recited this durood e taj 100 times and requested allah to make a dua for my daughter and tomorrow so she was in home mashallah they have checked and they said she is well all right there is no any problem now she we are sending back to home she came back home alhamdulillah so this durood o salam is uh, mashallah so much effective and if you have to recite it you will get your goal also and uh, many people you know they recite this durood o salam durood e taj so they get uh, special status even if a person who has habit to recite it at least 10 times every day after some time that person will get so much blessings of allah that the lost things the people they lost the lost things when someone say my things has been lost so this person say oh your your thing is there so that place so this is the situation which comes in the person's heart this is blessings of allah this is happen also so same like that this durood has so many uh, blessings in it the person be- becomes like a, a person of kashf is a special blessings of allah mashallah so this way if you are just to recite this durood salam 100 times every day and continue to recite it 3 years 
then you will get the capacity that mashallah you will know the things what is in the heart of the people alhamdulillah so this is the blessings of allah so this darud salam is so much blessed and if someone has under black magic or under shaitanic intervention then you have to recite this darud salam 11 times and blow on that person and also recite this darud salam about 11 times and blow on water and give this water to drink so that person will be all right the whole magic and uh, shaitanic intervention will be vanished will finish inshallah so this way if you want that uh, your uh, halal rizq increase and uh, you will get good sustenance mashallah recite this darud salam seven times every day after salatul fajr mashallah your rizq will be more so alhamdulillah and some people they feel that some are having jealousy with them or when some people are afraid of some enemies or some troubles or some problems then those people if they recite this durood salam 11 times and blow on them and go then they will not find any danger or or problem uh, before going like uh, to anywhere jealous people and uh, the uh, oppressors and also enemies will not do anything so alhamdulillah 11 times make a habit to read and go then mashallah you will be safe alhamdulillah so this is the blessings of allah uh, that is uh, on this because holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is rahmatul lil alamin this way when we recite this durud salam and allah's mercies fall upon the person Uh, and uh, so many things are done by allah so the people they become mashallah all right from every way so this is the blessings of allah the so same like that if you feel that someone is ill and illness is not finishing you can recite this durud salam 40 times or you can recite 100 times as i have done so that is mashallah that there will be shifa and if you recite this durud salam at least 11 times and blow on the person and re- recite 11 time again and uh, blow on water and give this water to drink that person mashallah that will be fine and uh, shifa will be there alhamdulillah so this is uh, allah's blessings mashallah so if you want that uh, you are you are in a job you are working somewhere and you want that your uh, officers they should be happy with you then uh, uh, if you want also your promotion also possible then you have to recite this durud salam at least uh, 111 times and when you go there alhamdulillah so they will be happy with you and uh, alhamdulillah your promotion is possible so that will be done inshallah so same like that if a woman who is uh, and not able to produce children and uh, if you take the dates seven dates and read seven times on each date and uh, then give these dates to eat for that woman inshallah she will get the children alhamdulillah and if you feel some people some a woman who is uh, like pregnant and there is a problem in delivery or uh, at the end stage some problem in in the pregnancy then uh, you have to recite this durud salam seven times and blow on water and give this water to drink and do it seven days inshallah she will be all right and delivery will be good and the child will be mashallah beautiful alhamdulillah so these are the blessings so many other blessings are also available in this durud and you have to recite it and get the benefit from it and we read we try to read this durud now auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim allahumma salli ala sayyidina wa maulana muhammadin sahib at-taj wal miraj wal buraki wal alam دافع البلاء والوباء والكهت والمرض والالم اسمه مكتوب مرفوع مشفوع منقوش في الله والقلم سيد العربي والاجم 
جسمه مقدس معتر متحر منور في البيت والحرم شمس الدها بدر الدجا صدر الاولى نور الهدى كهف الورا مصباح الظلم جميل الشيم شفيع الامم صاحب صاحب الجود والكرم والله اسمه وجبريل خادمه والبراق مركبه والمراج سفره وصدرة المنتهى مقامه وكاب قوسين مطلوبه والمطلوب مقصوده والمقصود موجوده سيد المرسلين خاتم النبيين شفيع المذنبين انيس الغريبين رحمة للعالمين راحة العاشقين مراد المشتاقين شمس العارفين سراج السالكين مصباح المقربين محب الفقراء والغرباء والمساكين سيد الساقلين نبي الحرمين امام القبلتين وسيلة في الدارين صحب كاب قوسين محبوب رب المشرقين ورب المغربين جد الحسن والحسين مولانا ومولى الساقلين ابي القاسم محمد بن عبد الله نور من نور الله يا ايها المشتاقون بنور جماله صلوا عليه وآله وأصحابه وسلموا تسليما so This is the Rood Taj This is the Rood Crown The Rood MashaAllah is blessed The Rood And uh, when you have any problem You will recite this The Rood You will get the goal MashaAllah And uh, now we can uh, Look at the meaning of this اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہم صلی اللہ سیدنا و مولانا محمد او اللہ سینڈ یو آر مرسیز اینڈ بلیسنگز اپان ہولی پرافٹ محمد صلی اللہ وسلم ہو از آور چیف ہو از آور ماسٹر صاحب تاجی ہو از آور کراؤن مل میراج اینڈ ہو ہیز ڈن میراج ماشاء اللہ میٹنگ ود اللہ ول براک ول علم and he has he has gone to allah with the ride and the ride name was brock and uh, well alam and he hey, he will have the alam alam is the flag so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam at the day of judgment will get the flag of intercession at the day of judgment mashallah we will be blessed that we will be intercessed by prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam inshallah سو داف البلائی ول وبائی ول کہتی ول مارادی ول علم سو داف البلا دا ہولی پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم دیٹ از دا بلیسنگز آف اللہ وین وی ریسائٹ آن درود و سلام ہولی پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم بیکاز ہی از رحمت اللہ العالمین سو اللہ بیکم سو مچ مرسی فل اپان پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اینڈ بیکاز دا پرسن ہو از ریسائٹنگ درود و سلام اللہ سینڈز مرسیز دین داف البلا دین دا بلا آر ٹربلز آر پرابلمز آف دا پرسنز آر ریموڈ ول وبا اٹ مین وبا مین دا کلیمٹی کلیمٹیز لائک سم ٹائپ آف ایپیڈیمک پینڈیمک پرابلمز آر سم تھنگ لائک دیز ٹائپ آف تھنگز نو وائرس آر سم ادر تھنگز سو وین وی ریسائٹ ود دا ود دا اللہ مرسیز دیز تھنگز ول گو آف ماشاء اللہ ول کہت کہت مین لائک فیمائن وین دیر از شارٹیج آف فوڈ آر سم پرابلم آف فوڈ سو اللہ مرسیز فال اپان دیئر اینڈ ماشاء اللہ فوڈ اویلیبل پاسیبل دیئر آلسو ول مردی ول علم مرد مین دا پرسن ہو از ال وین ریسائٹ دس درود و سلام ود دا مرسیز آف اللہ دیٹ پرسن بیکمز شفا ود شفا ود ہیلنگ ود ریکوری پاسیبل ول علم when a person who is uh, who is sad or trouble and problem so sadness or trouble or problem is removed the mashallah the peace of mind and peace of uh, heart comes mashallah ismuhu maktubun ismuhu the name of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam maktubun is written marfuun is also there mashfuun so that is a name which has been written as intercessor also as the marfu mean is the highest rank 
the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the name at the highest because holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is sayyidul mursalin so his name is at the highest rank mashpoon is at the rank where he will get to the intercession also mankushun so is specially the quran has has been given to prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam with good status fil lohi wal kalam his name is written in loho loho is a special uh, uh, you know the uh, special place in uh, with allah's throne there so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam name is written there because holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the last messenger of allah and uh, uh, holy quran is also in loh and holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam name is also there wal qalam and uh, where is qalam qalam has written that one also holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam name and that is also with allah Sayyid al-Arabi, Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the chief of Arab, wal Ajam, and also Ajam mean the whole world, we people. Jismuhu mukaddasun, his his body is purified, masha Allah. Muattarun is is with, uh, masha Allah, balanced body with uh, uh, good fragrance. Muat mutaharun and also more pure. Munawwarun and also enlightened will fulfill baiti wal haram and his 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 body is munawwar is is enlightened and masha Allah his nur you can see in bait in baitul haram also and if you look the holy Kaaba that is the that is placed at the center of this universe and from here the light that came through holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so that make enlightened the whole humanity of the world this way because of holy quran that was the best light that came to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the nur of allah and holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam get this nur of allah masha allah this nur make our nur also because we are having this nur in our heart and uh, when we recite holy quran and uh, the sunnah we can find halal haram we can find good and bad so our eyes open and we get this nur to distinguish between good and bad between darkness and light and everything becomes visible mashallah this is special blessings shams duha holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the is the sun whose light is spread up mashallah badr duja he is the moon whose coolness is mercifulness comes in our heart and then we become more merciful alhamdulillah this is the blessings we got from quran and sunnah we are mashallah blessed person sadr al ula so holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the is the is the president of that so everything is like oh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the mashallah is is presiding all all the prophets so he is the top of all prophets and and mashallah nur al huda and he is the a special light of guidance from allah for us mashallah kafil wara and he is the place where the people at the day of judgment will gather before him because at the day of judgment we will gather before prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam because prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam will give us intercession and we will get um, paradise under his uh, fellowship inshallah allah and allah's blessings we will get there also mashallah and uh, misbah is zulm and holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the is the light that uh, eliminate the darkness and brings the light mashallah so that is jamil shiam and uh, jamil mean the beautiful and shiam mean the manners and uh, akhlaq the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam his akhlaq his manners are so much beautiful mashallah and we when we follow the sunnah our manners becomes beautiful alhamdulillah shafi al umam Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is intercessor of his ummah mashallah sahib al judi wal karam holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is as jud mean the generosity prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is so much generous wal karam and more kind to the people alhamdulillah so much wallahu asimuhu and allah also send mercies to him wa jibril khadimuhu and jibril alaihi salam his servant mashallah wal buraq markabuhu and holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he went to allah through miraj un nabi and he went through the animal that was called buraq 
wal miraj safar hu and miraj was the safar the journey that was beautiful journey towards allah wa sidratul muntaha maqamuhu and he reached at the destination that was called sidratul muntaha where jibril al islam said that i can't go forward so this is the last destination where i am staying here so this is sidratul muntaha ma sha allah holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam reached there wa kaba kausain matlubuhu then holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has visited forward to see prophet uh, so see allah's blessings so this is matbal matlub maqsuduhu this is these are the secrets between allah and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we have no more knowledge of that but these things allah knows and a prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam knows we believe that allah's allah give allah has given so much status to prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he called him in miraj an nabi he got so much blessings and uh, then he got uh, you know we have one thing uh, like uh, salah we pray salah this is this is a reminder of miraj an nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam because prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he got from allah this one so masha allah wa kaba kausan matlubuhu wal matlub maqsuduhu wal maqsud mawjuduhu sayyid al mursalin aur the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the sayyid al mursalin he is the chief of the all messengers atam an nabijin all the prophethood is finished now holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the last messenger of allah shafi al muznabin and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the intercessor of the sinful people also anis al gharibi gharibin Uh, and uh, holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is 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 the sympathetic with the poor people also rahmatul lil alamin he is rahmat mercies for the whole universe mashallah rahatul aashiqin he is comfort for all the lovers and murad al mushtaqin and he is the destination for all the lovers also mashallah shams al arifin he is the sun from where the people who are uh, who are trying to uh, reach uh, allah's qurb they are uh, passing through the light they, they get the light from holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to pass through to go near to allah so qurb of allah is possible with the light from holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and siraj us salikin because prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the sun that give the light to them misbahil mukarrabin and he is the leader he is the leader of mukarrabin who get the qurb of allah uhib al fuqara holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam love uh, the fuqara the poor people or needy people wal ghuraba and and the poor, poor people also he love them masakin who has like masakin or those people like white collar people prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam love them also sayyid sakalaini holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the chief not for human being but for the demons and jinn also and nabi al haramain huzur pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam he is the nabi al haramain he is uh, mashallah he is a prophet of all, all haramain mean madina and makkah imam al qiblatain he is imam who be, who was the qibla who was the imam of uh, Uh, imam for qibla uh, bait al muqaddas and imam for bait baitullah also mashallah to to qibla tan mashallah to this is alhamdulillah he got so much blessings and special distinguished characters that was blessed to him and uh, he got the allah so much blessed uh, these qualities which were not given to any prophet mashallah this is blessings of allah wasila tina fi darain and wasila is the special place special status that will be given to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam at the day of judgment mashallah that will be the best place uh, prominent throughout the universe no one will get except holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam this way holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said we, you have to make dua for this and we do this one also when we recite dua after azan اللهم رب هذه الدعوة التامة والصلاة القائمة آت محمد عن الوسيلة والفضيلة. This وسيلة. So this is the special uh, flag of uh, 
uh, intercession uh, which will be there and Prophet ﷺ will get to the place that will be called Wasila, the special status above all the creation of Allah. This will status will be given to Prophet ﷺ. MashaAllah, this is there. So, Sahib Kaaba Kausain, Mahabub Rabb al Mashrikain, Holy Prophet ﷺ is Kaaba Kausain, mean Prophet ﷺ, he was called uh, Allah through Miraj on Nabi ﷺ, and also Mahabub Rabb al Mashrikain wal Maghriban, and he is the favorite person and beloved of Allah also, who is the Rabb, who is the Rabb of all uh, east, west, north, so, north, and south, so every place is so. Prophet ﷺ is beloved of that uh, Rabbul Alameen, MashaAllah. Jaddil Hassan Ibal Hussain and Holy Prophet ﷺ is the uh, grandfather of uh, Hassan and Hussain, the Ridwanullah Alayhi Majmaeen. Maulana wa Maula Sakalain, Holy Prophet ﷺ is our leader, our master, and also master of uh, Jinnu Insi. Uh, Abil Qasim, he is the dad of. Uh, Qasim uh, Muhammad ibn Abdullah and he is the son of Abdullah uh, Nurum min Nurillah and he has Nur from Allah we have Nur this is Holy Quran is Nur and uh, MashaAllah he got the Nur and we are also getting this Nur from Prophet Sallallahu he got Nur this from Allah and we got Nur from him and then uh, with this Sunnah also and mashallah it becomes easy for us to go through because this became our uh, life like whole life like uh, uh, like how to spend our life this is our uh, code of life so mashallah a practice code how to live in this world and to be a good person so that we should be the blessed person at the day of judgment so this is possible only through quran and sunnah and that is the nur nur from Holy Prophet ﷺ, he got from Allah, this is why he call it Nurum and Nurillah, MashaAllah, he is the best uh, Allah's creation on the universe because he has been blessed so much Nur that is enlightened us and made our life more better because in this world and the world hereafter. Ya ayyuhal mushtakuna, O people who are in love with Prophet ﷺ, binur jamali you must be you will be enlightened with the with the light of light from sallu alaihi wa alihi when you recite durood salam to prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam you will be enlightened also and and we request allah please send durood salam to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam alaihi wa alihi and his family wa ashabi and our companion of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa sallimu and salam also taslima and you allah send salam and durood salam up from us to Holy Prophet ﷺ, his family, his companion to him also. MashaAllah, this is the best Durood and uh, the crown Durood, the chief Durood. We have to recite this one. We will get the best benefit, inshallah. And uh, you will see when you will recite, Alhamdulillah. Allah give us tawfiq. Ameen.